the El Dorado County CELPAs have created this web module to assist data stewards in using the CALPATS data discrepancies report. We will review how to access and read the data discrepancies report, as well as resolve common errors. Data discrepancies are errors that are triggered based on data reported or missing in CALPADS. The data discrepancies report allows users to view and correct errors before the opening of certification windows. This report can be used proactively year-round to reduce corrections needed for future certification cycles. This is the list of the recommended CALPADS permissions for data stewards. Please confirm that you have these permissions with your LEA's CALPADS administrator before trying to generate the report. Once logged into CALPADS, from the navigation pane on the left margin, select Data Discrepancies. Select the academic year, error severity, and certification cycle you wish to view. Best practice is to select all for error severity. Special education errors are found in Fall 1 and End of Year 4 certification cycles. Select the appropriate certification cycle you wish to view and click on Apply Filters to generate the report. You can view any reporting cycle, regardless of the certification window we are currently in. The Data Discrepancies Report consists of three sections. Once you have applied the selected filters, the summary grid appears at the top of the page. This provides users with a list of fatal and warning error codes. The display grid at the bottom of the page identifies the student records that are triggering the fatal errors and warnings. Click on the error code hyperlink to view the error description and validated CALPADS fields from the CALPADS user manual. CALPADS may have suggested resolutions on the error description page. Click on the blue SSID number hyperlink to view the CALPADS student record. This will open a new tab, keeping the report open in another. Clicking the View button will take you to the specific data record within CALPADS that is triggering the error. You can use the local record ID number to search for the transaction in SACE. When reviewing large numbers of errors, it is helpful to download them into a CSV file. SCNR 0606 is a missing plan record for a student with an active IEP in the current LEA of enrollment. This most often occurs when a student transfers into a new LEA and their IEP has not been adopted. SENR 0647 The student has a status file of eligible but not enrolled with an active enrollment and an active plan. This requires a status file to be manually entered into CALPATS. Plan 0405 Program setting errors only appear in the Fall 1 reports. The following two slides address program setting errors. Amendments must be dated on or before Census Day when correcting program settings. 0405, the program setting is incorrect for the student's age. If the student is not yet five years old, they must remain in an early childhood setting until they are five. Plan 0619. The program setting is incorrect for the student's age. If the student is five or older, they must be in a general education setting with percentage in general education reported. Plan 0620. Your LEA has reported a plan file for a student who does not have an active, eligible, and participating status as of your plan effective date. If an ISP was adopted and the student will not be receiving services at a private school, an IEP meeting must be held within 30 days of enrollment to convert the ISP into an IEP.
Your LEA has reported a plan file for a student with no status file. This often occurs with students coming from out of state if the meeting was not affirmed correctly. If a plan record exists for a student, there must be at least one service record associated with the plan. Meet 0624. Your LEA has reported a meet file for a student who does not have an active, eligible, and participating status. This often occurs when initial meetings have been affirmed without parent signature. SWDS 0605 indicates you are missing a meet file. The meet file for each status file of eligible and participating or no longer eligible must be reported. There are multiple errors associated with post-secondary and transition plan indicators. For students over 16, the indicators must be marked yes or no. Using the view button in the report, you can identify the specific record that needs to be updated from NA to yes or no. The Eldorado County SELPAs have created various how-to videos to assist users in completing SACE specific tasks and CalPADS reporting. All videos are divided into playlists by SACE permission, including a data compliance playlist for CalPADS reports. Please bookmark this site for future reference. The California Department of Education has created many special education resources, including additional resources for data discrepancies reports. We strongly encourage you to review these resources as well. We hope this web module provides the foundation for utilizing this report. If you have any questions or need additional assistance with data reporting, or report review, please contact our SELPA data team.